time to time. Sir, I need to discuss very important things. What is it? I've been hearing you talking to the other soldiers. I know you're going to try to gear up for war. But we're not ready. We took a heavy hit last time, and I don't think we're ready to go again. Really? Well, if that's what you're concerned about, I'm giving everyone plenty of time to refuel, recharge, arm up, and get ready. I'm not striking again until everyone's ready. Or at least until I say it that we're ready. Yeah, the classic thing. Um, but anyway, I have here to discuss some other things. Considering you have the whole situation under control, there is something else I'd like to discuss. About Project C. What did he do this time? No, no, no. No, it's something that Foxy and Co. did to him. Looks pretty harmless to me. No. I'll have to get him over here. Wait a minute, are you feeding him pistachios? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? It's, it's an excellent snack. <sighs> okay, whatever. Can you call him? Yo, Project Z. <laughs> what is it? What's the thing that's wrong? Well, he has a hole in his head. And this was caused from yesterday, from our attack. Do you know where it was from? Everything. The combination of bullets, the airstrike, Godzilla, and all the heavy hitters, especially the atomic breath, caused this hole. And if it took all of that just for a small hole in his head, I think we're okay. I think we're not. Because here's the thing. All this hole may seem harmless. If Foxy gets his hands on a brain jammer, it's all over. I'm sorry, I don't speak science. What does that mean? It's a device that you jam into someone's skull, causing them to be programmable, like some common piece of machinery or a robot. If they put a brain jammer inside of that hole, he'll be on their side, and there'll be nothing we can do to stop it. Who's to say they'll even know what a brain jammer is? I didn't even know what it is till just now. Well, yeah, because that's because you're dumb. What did you just say? Uh, nothing. They'll most likely get their hands on a brain jammer. They have two very intelligent engineers, Springtrap and Pete. They'll most likely be able to be able to build one. Even so, by the time they figure out what how to get a brain jammer, they'll already be dead. We're gonna strike soon enough to prevent them from ever making that. If you say so. your call. My call is to do nothing. We'll be just fine. Okay. Z, you can go back to eating your pistachios. <laughs> anyway, listen, I need you to go, um, help around, do some stuff. Okay. So, uh, Go do that. Okay. I'll be on my way doing stuff. So, Foxy, what did you need me for? We called you here for a very specific reason. We wanted to talk to you about the rift. The rift? Why didn't you say so earlier? We already know how to. We know. We already know how to summon the rift. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he said. Wait a minute, why is he even here? I'm, uh, I'm here to be included. I, uh, I like being included. Fair enough. Wait a minute, hold on. So you're telling me you knew how to, s to summon the rift this entire time? He did not. That's right. And that's for a very specific reason. You see, after you open up the rift, 
then you speak to the Rift Guardian. And upon his entry, there's a 50% chance that he'll just murder you. He'll just kill you, gun you down. And a 50% chance he'll listen. It all depends on what the Rift Master says. Hmm. Well, we can take this guy on. He's only one guy. No. First of all, he's got some heavy machinery. Second of all, he's invincible. Due to the fact that he is a spiritual being, we can't kill him. Dang, man, there's long pauses there. Shut up. Um, okay. Then what's the next step? Well, the step after that is, is well, if he does listen, and if he does decide to listen to us, if we try to get all our men back, there's a good chance that he won't be able to. The Rift Master might deny him. And so maybe he'll kill us all. Hey, your voice sounds different. It's gonna be quieter. Oh, uh, that's because I, uh, I, um, uh, I'm kind of tired. Because I, uh, spent all night trying to make a, uh, uh, the flying car. R really? Yeah, man. It's complicated. But anyway, continue. You were the one that was talking. Oh, yeah, my bad. But yeah, there's a good chance that he'll kill us. But we can try it anyway. We have to. It's the only way we'll be able to win this war. We're getting desperate. And I don't like the risk. That's what we have to do. Alright. I'll get okay. it set. The machine is ready. You guys ready? Yeah. 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 Okay. Here we go. Wow. I feel like I have a seizure. Yeah. It's almost like the cameraman had a seizure. Okay, fine. Jeez. Who dares summon me? Uh. I do. Okay. Um. Not the answer I was expecting, but, uh. What do you want? Give me one good reason why I shouldn't just kill all of you right here, right now. Because we're cool. Gonna need more than that. Because we need your help. What? Listen, my name is Foxy. I'm the leader of the resistance against George. You might have heard of me. After all, we've lost a lot of people. You most likely know a couple of them from the Rift. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. I've heard about your little resistance. Now, keep going to why I should care. Listen. We need you to bring back all of our spirits, all of our dead people, everyone that we've lost in these past couple of years. We need you to bring them back. Because if you don't, we're gonna die. We're outnumbered, outgunned, and outstrength. The only way we're gonna win this war is if we win in numbers. The only way we can do that is to bring back the dead. Why don't you just do recruits? See, George already beat us to it and brainwashed everyone in the town to be on his side. Well. Hmm. Well then. I'm afraid I can't bring your people back. Why not? You have access to literally all of them. Yeah, man, it kind of seems like a scam. Listen, I applaud your little resistance. I think it's cute that you're going to go up against someone that's literally almost impossible to kill. But it's not like I can just give out spirits for free. I'm not in charge of this whole thing. That would be the Rift Master's job. I could try talking to him try seeing what he wants but it's not like I'm just gonna let you guys have access to all your friends right now well could you just do it in secret I could but if the rift master finds out which he will considering he's connected to the rift he will destroy the rift meaning that everyone that that's already dead will stop existing 
There'll be no more heaven, no more hell. None of that. They will just cease to exist. And anyone that dies in the future will be erased from existence. And I will die as well. Oh. Well. Well. I don't know what to say. I don't, I don't think we can work anything out. Let me think. There's one thing we can do. What's that? It's a fine. If I only get them out for a few hours. I can bring out all your men. Bring them back to life for three hours. Then I'll have to return them. Okay. I'm listening. But. If I do this. The Rift Master will still be mad. And will most likely destroy the Rift. Which means I. Need an extra spirit. I need someone I can take. Someone I can kill. Someone that will be willing to come with me. Do you... Do you know who that would be? No. Can we just talk about what time you can bring them out? Yeah, go ahead. I need you to bring them out tomorrow. 3.30pm. What? Why that time? Because... George is a relentless fighter. He's most likely going to attack by tomorrow. And if he doesn't, we'll bring the fight to him. We'll strike at 3.30. That's when we're going to get our reinforcements. Sounds like a good idea to me. And you said we have three hours, right? Right. So that means we'll have from 3.30 to 6.30. They'll be dead by then. We'll do it. Tomorrow, 3.30 p.m., you bring them out. Got it. I would have decided who we're going to take for your extra spirit. But by 6.30, we'll figure it out. Fair enough. I believe, gentlemen, we have a deal. Now, if you excuse me, I have very important business to attend to in the rift. I'll be all... Ow. You okay? No. I'm in pain. Stop being in pain. Okay. Anyway, I have important business to attend to. Goodbye. Anyway. Y'all, uh, let's get ready to fight. It won't be long until 3.30 shows up tomorrow. I'll go ahead and close the portal. Alright. Everyone, let's get ready to fight. Tomorrow's gonna be a big day.